Hi, my name is Shear, and I'm the founder and CEO of ShearConsulting.com, where we focus on converting the existing data from your business into massive savings and extraordinary profits. Today, we're going to learn the basics of Excel. Let's get started. So before we can start building really amazing spreadsheets, we need to know what we're working with. We need to know the different building blocks of Excel. And they include cells, rows, columns, workbooks, and worksheets. So let's go over each one, one at a time. A cell is an exact location in the spreadsheet for a single unit of data. An example of a cell is E3. It's the column letter and the row number. It is shown here in the name box. So whatever cell is active, is shown right over here. We also always are going to have it highlighted to give us a quick preview of where we're, where we're currently selected. A column is simply a collection of vertical cells. Now there are quite a few. If we were to scroll all the way to the bottom, we'd see that there's over a million different cells here in a single column. We can do the same thing in a row, which is just horizontal cells collected together. There's also quite a few of these. It goes to XFD, which is about 16,000 or more different cells stacked horizontally. All these things together combine to make one spreadsheet or what's called one worksheet. As you can see down here, this little tab here is the entire worksheet. Among this worksheet, there are other worksheets. And these all together comprise of what's called a workbook. If I were to restore down we'll see that here's one workbook together on one topic, and here's a completely different workbook with its own number of worksheets. I can maximize this and go between them like so. So once again, Excel is comprised of cells, of rows, columns, worksheets, and entire workbooks like so.